क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फिजिकल क्वांटिटी एंड इट्स यूनिट देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी फंडामेंटल फिजिकल क्वांटिटी एंड डिराइव्ड फिजिकल क्वांटिटी टुडे वी विल सी व्हाट आर द डिराइव्ड फिजिकल क्वांटिटी एंड इट्स यूनिट लेट इज स्टार्ट विथ डिराइव्ड क्वांटिटी एंड इट्स यूनिट फर्स्ट वन वी कैन टेक दैट इज एरिया we know what are the physical quantity physical quantity are the measurable quantity which we can measure so first quantity we will study that is area we know what is the formula of area that is length into breadth so we will define breadth also in terms of length we know what is the unit of length that is a meter so here we have length into length that is length square and we know the unit of length is a meter so the unit of area is meter square the second quantity we will take that is a volume the formula of volume is length into breadth into height all three quantities we can express in terms of length so here unit will be meter so we'll take length breadth also we can express in terms of length that is l and height also we can take in terms of length so that is l here the formula is l cube and we know the length unit of length is meter so the unit of volume is meter cube the third quantity we will take that is a density we know density is mass upon volume mass can be expressed in terms of m and volume just now we have find out that is l cube we know what is the unit of mass that is kilogram and unit of volume is m cube hence the unit of density is kilogram per meter cube the fourth quantity we will take that is velocity we know velocity is distance per unit time here distance can be expressed in terms of length hence its unit will be meter and time is a second hence the unit of velocity is meter per second so the unit of velocity is meter hence the unit of velocity is meter per second the fifth quantity we will take that is acceleration we know acceleration is velocity per unit time the unit of velocity is or we can say the formula of velocity is distance per unit time upon time hence here we have formula that is distance upon time square we know we express distance in terms of meter hence meter and we know we express time in terms of second so it is second square hence the unit of acceleration is meter per second square the next quantity we will take that is a force we know force is equal to mass into acceleration the unit of mass is kg or we can write here mass into acceleration acceleration is nothing but velocity per unit time so the unit of mass is kg that is kilogram and the velocity per unit time that is just now we have find out that is meter per second square hence the unit of force is kg meter per second square the next quantity we will take that is a pressure we know pressure is equal to force upon area so the unit of force or we can say force is equal to mass into acceleration upon area the unit of mass is kg and unit of acceleration is meter per second square upon unit of area we can express area in terms of length into breadth both can be expressed in terms of meter so here we will write down meter square so the complete unit will be kg the 1 meter will get cancel here so here we have kg meter per second square same way force can be expressed in terms of newton in si system so here the another unit we can write here is 
न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट फिजिकल क्वांटिटी वी विल टेक दैट इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी वी नो काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू हाफ एम वी स्क्वेर दैट इज हाफ मास इनटू वेलोसिटी स्क्वेर सो वी कैन एक्सप्रेस दिस इन दिस वे हाफ मास इनटू वेलोसिटी इज डिस्टेंस पर यूनिट टाइम सो विल राइट हियर डिस्टेंस per unit time and its square we know half is a constant quantity so it doesn't have any unit so unit of mass is kg into distance we express distance in terms of meter so it is meter upon time time we express in terms of second so it is second square so its unit is kg meter square per second square but kinetic energy is the form of energy it has a another unit in si system kinetic energy can be expressed in terms of joules also so the another unit we can write here is joules that is capital j or you can write here joules next physical quantity we will take that is potential energy we know potential energy is mgh here m is a mass g is acceleration due to gravity and h is a height so we'll write here mass into acceleration due to gravity means here we can write the formula of acceleration that is velocity per unit time into height height we can express in terms of length so we'll write here length now we know the unit of mass that is kg we know unit of velocity velocity is nothing but distance per unit time so distance we will express in terms of meter and time in terms of second so unit of velocity will be meter per second and here we have a time so we'll write down second into length length again we will express in terms of meters hence the combined unit will be kg meter square second square now you can observe here the unit of kinetic energy and unit of potential energy is same again this is the form of energy so another unit here is a joules so we'll write down here capital j that is nothing but joule next physical quantity we will take that is a work we know work is equal to force into displacement force is nothing but mass into acceleration it is we know mass and acceleration is nothing but velocity per unit time and displacement is nothing but length unit of mass is kilogram we know velocity is displacement per unit time so here we can write down displacement that is uh, meter per unit time that is a second so we can write here unit of velocity is meter per unit second upon time time is also expressed in terms of second and we know the displacement unit is again we can express in terms of meters so here final unit is kg meter square second square we know this unit is exactly same as that of energy units that is it is same as that of kinetic energy as well as the potential energy so the another unit for work is joules here we can write down joules that is denoted by capital j so work is also having two units first one that is kg meter second meter square per second square or joules the next physical quantity we will take that is power 
we know power is work upon time. We know unit of work is kg meter square second square per second square. Just now we have calculated and the unit of time is a second. So the final unit of power is kg meter square per second cube or we can write down here joule per seconds. Next physical quantity we will take that is impulse. Next physical quantity that is impulse. An impulse is nothing but force into time. We know force is equal to mass into acceleration into time. So here we can write down mass that is we can express that into m. Acceleration is nothing but velocity per unit time and into time. So this time quantity will get cancelled here. Here we have mass into velocity. We know velocity is nothing but displacement per unit time. So here we will write down. Now we will express mass in terms of kg that is kilogram. Displacement in terms of length means meter and time in terms of second. Hence, the unit of impulse is kg meter per second. Hence, impulse can be explained in terms of another unit also that is Newton second. Because we know in SI system, Newton is a unit of force and second is a unit of time. So, there are two units of impulse that is first one kg meter per second or Newton seconds. Next physical quantity we will take that is a momentum. We know momentum is mass into velocity. So the unit of mass that is we know kilograms and velocity can be expressed in terms of distance per unit time. So here we will write down the unit of mass that is kilogram into distance. We can express distance in terms of meter per unit time that is time in terms of second. Hence the final unit of momentum is kg meter per seconds. Next physical quantity is a wavelength. Next physical quantity we will take that is a wavelength and wavelength is nothing but length of one wave. We can write here length of one wave. So this is another type of length only. So here the unit of wavelength is meters. Next physical quantity we will take that is a frequency which is denoted by f which is equal to 1 upon time. So the unit of frequency is equal to 1 upon seconds or hertz. There are two units for the frequency that is per unit time or we can say it is hertz. Thank you friends for watching the video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and please subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.